you each talk a little bit about what your biggest challenge was before joining your home sold guaranteed realty and how the new brokerage helped you overcome those challenges? Well, the first thing was myself. I thought that I had to be at a certain level to be a your home sold guaranteed realty owner. So um, I reached out. And, um, you know, I thought you have to have $3 million um, gross uh, GCI in order to sign up for this. And I found out that that was just all in my head. And uh, the other thing is, I think that I thought maybe, again, it's the same thing. I thought maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I need to do this for a while before I go into um, signing up for this. And I thought that it would be a lot of work because um, I'm in Canada. Um, but then I just, I just asked questions. I just found out how can I go about doing it. And that's how I was able to, I was able to do it. Like I just, I just went for it. I, I talked to Todd and, um, and that's it. I was sold. Um, I wanted to do this because this, would allow me the freedom of what I've always wanted to do, which is to, to design the business the way I want it to be done. And also without having any restrictions, without having to have other Remax agents going to my uh, manager saying, oh, why is she doing it this way? Oh, you can't do it that way. And so, you know, I wanted to do it. I wanted to have more control and it didn't cost me more. Um, it gave me a lot of freedom. And it's sort of like, I look at it like you're building, whenever you're building something, you are, you wanna have a strong foundation. If, you know, um, I want to build my business to have that big team, well, why should I wait until, you know, I reach a certain point? I wanna build a strong foundation to be able to grow it as big as I want. Like, if you look at a building, if you look at a 40, story building, they have a different foundation than a single residential home. And your home sold guarantee realty gives me that strong foundation. And that's yep. why I wanted to do it sooner than later. I would hate to think that I sat on my hands, didn't at least get the license, you know, do the, you know, move into owning it. And, um, and I'm on the outside looking in. Yep. I would hate that. You have us up here telling you about it. You've had us talking about it. You know, we're all telling you the, the story. This is really what's happening to us. And um, you need to, you know, you can go look for opportunities or opportunities can come to you. And what I've found is when opportunities are presented to me, there seem to be much better opportunities than me going looking for an opportunity. 